Good morning, this is Matt Smith here, Colton RV, out in North Tonawanda here. Uh, today we're going to go through the tracers. Uh, we're going to pick one floor plan here. Uh, it's going to be the 24 RKS. It's a 2020. Uh, it's a uh, gross vehicle weight of 7,750 pounds. Uh, the dry weight on this is 5,341 pounds. So this tracer over here, which you have is uh, a laminate sidewall, um, fiberglass with aluminum framing in it. Uh, great feature on this one is they actually have the Furion uh, uh, blindside uh, mirrors on, or the turn signal cameras. So you can uh, get this from Furion as an add-on on this. And what it does is when you put your turn signal on or in your camera, actually in your vehicle, uh, you can have the three cameras. Uh, the left side, the right side, and the rear view camera. Uh, that way you can cover all your blind spots while you're traveling. So it's a great feature to have on campers. Over here is uh, your utility section. You'll see that you have your fresh water, your uh, tank fill. Everything's all in one little area. Your black tank flush, which is uh, the um, while you're dumping your black tank, it's the uh, sprayer on top of your uh, right below your toilet. It's going to spray, get all that toilet paper, everything off the sidewalls. Helps keep your sensors clean, so that way uh, next time you use it, uh, the everything will be nice and clean in there and won't smell. And it also uh, the sensors being clean, it'll be pretty accurate while you're uh, uh, using your camper. You have a little area where you can wash out here, pull. This is where you can run your hoses up from your campground. So when, while you're at your campground, you can close this door and keep it locked so everything's secured in there and not have to worry about uh, somebody tampering with your camper. You also have a uh, outside shower. So this is hot, cold water. This basically pull, plugs in here. And then uh, you'd have a nozzle on the end of this for uh, spraying. You could spray your dogs, your children, whoever. Come back from the beach, you're all sandy. Rinse your feet off before you have to go in the camper. And then uh, solar prep is inside here. So if you can see up here. So it's prepped for solar power pa uh, panels that you can just plug and play. It makes it easier. Uh, if you're dry camping, you just put the panels outside, keep them in the sun, keep your battery charged during the day. So that nighttime you have a full battery. And this is your battery disconnect here. All you would do is you pull that out and then it would disconnect your battery while you're storing your camper so it doesn't drain your battery on that. You get slam latch door on these magnets. So it holds the door up. There's no clips on this one. So this is a, uh, again, it's a uh, pinch rolled laminate on this one. Uh, it's going to last a little bit longer uh, with the, uh, um, fading or any uh, D lamb or anything else the way they do this your right here is your low point drains you can see all through here uh, you could drain all your low points for winterization all one spot a little blue one over there that's uh, your overfill so if you overfill your uh, fresh tank it actually will bubble out over there knowing that the, the camper is full sewer connection outline uh, outlets are right here so black tank and then your gray tank your black tank is uh, always you pull that first while you're dumping your tanks. That's all your stinky water and all that. And you use that black tank flush. Let it rinse until everything's coming out nice and clear. Close that up. Then you pull your gray tank valve, which is all your soapy water from your, your uh, sink and shower. And it'll flush your uh, hose out and help clean out with the soapy water, all that too. Um, you have your cable slide system on these ones. Uh, and this is a fully laminate all the way through and moisture barrier underneath so you're not going to get that trapped water inside as we go around again this is a prime time tracer this uh um when you look here you got your uh your frame windows these are little weep holes so if you get any moisture trapped in here it'll actually drain through these so you got to keep these clean uh so that way it doesn't trap water in there. So every now and then I go around and make sure uh, I clean these out uh, while camping and stuff. Especially if you're in an area where there's a lot of trees and stuff like that and dust. Hot water tank here is a six gallon propane and electric. So this has a fast recovery. I believe this is about 18 gallons uh, an hour recovery. So if you could take back to back showers if you really needed to on this one. We'll go around here, you got your bumper, which that's where you're gonna put your uh, sewer hose. And this has power stabilizers. If you kind of look under here, it's all push button stabilizers. So there's no hand cranking them down. 
just push a button and they go down and it also has a power tongue jack on this too 30 amp service on this you got a little window back here and then this is your uh, you do have a backup camera prep on this one too so you not only do you have the side cameras you got the backup camera uh, all prepped if you need to, if you wanted to so just to purchase plug and play Dometic fridge on this one it's where uh, you're gonna have uh, the fridge in the back of this this floor plan which is pretty neat and your furnace outlet here is all in one little area in the back we gonna go around I'm gonna show you how big this is a 24 foot living space Look how big this awning is. I'm going to put it out. It's all right here. So you got a nice full length awning on this. Goes almost right over the next camper. LED lights, strips going all the way across. So it's going to illuminate your campground really nice. Outdoor speakers, it's got blue LED lights inside the speakers there. Neat, uh, neat features on this is there's two doors. So one door is to the bedroom and the other door is to the main area. You have a power outlet outside and a TV uh, plug, uh, outlet for a cable or uh, the antenna. So you can put a TV outside if you wanted to or use like uh, if you cook outside, you could put a uh, crock pot or uh, some other type of things like ice makers and stuff like that. Uh, D-ring over here for pets. A lot of people ask what this is for. Let's put the leashes on and everything. And then uh, these will pitch the awning arms. If you loosen these up, you can change the angle on them, you know, in and out, tighten it up. And uh, 30 pound shock on these, so if it does rain, uh, it will self dump. Uh, if you can see how it's flexing down. So it helps from ripping away from your camper. Uh, again, I always tell everybody, if it's pouring out rain, roll it in. If you leave your camper, roll it in because if it gets really windy out and if or if it starts pouring down rain, it will have a chance of ripping away. If it's not uh, dumping fast enough, it'll just keep building up water and then rip away from your camper. So safe, safe wise is always roll them in if you're leaving for the day and roll them back out when uh, you're back at your camp. We're going to go inside now. Look at this neat floor plan. It's a great floor plan in here. Big grab handle. This has got the extended season package on here too, so if you can see that. They got the internal bond construction, uh, aluminum structure, so this is going to be nice strong structure. It's great for towing around. It's very mo uh, mobile while you're do going down the road. Solid steps on this one. I haven't really been demoing these, but these are nice because you just lock in. It gives you a little bit more ground clearance in the back here by the tire, but it also is when you're walking on this, the camper doesn't rock around when you're going in and out of it. So if you've got a lot of traffic going in and out, you can feel the rocking if, uh, if you have the normal steps like that in the area. So this gives you that uh, stability of the camper. Come on in. So go over here first and uh, we'll show the kitchen area. So you got the nice Dometic uh, fridge here, which is uh, six cube. So it's a nice size for a 24 foot camper. Now uh, you'll have a lot of uh, uh, space inside your fridge for camping. It is propane and electric, so if you turn this on auto, it's going to first check for propane. Oops. So right now it's on auto. So when you get to your campground, it's going to, once you plug it in, it's automatically you switch over to electric. When you unplug it, it'll run off your propane as long as you have your propane open. And it'll do a check and it'll actually beep at you if your propane's not open. So you'll know that it's not on. So that way you're not traveling for a long distance and it's warming up on you. Uh, you got your uh, stove top three burner with the glass top full back. Nice, easy to use. And then your Furion, uh, you got your oven here too. Under this is the circuit breaker fuse box. So anything that's 110 is going to be a circuit breaker. And then your fuses. If one of these fuses blow, there's actually a red light that illuminates in there. 
so it tells you which fuse blew on there. So easy to troubleshoot. I always carry extra fuses when I go camping. That way if one blows, I can have that replacement right away and not have to ruin my camping uh, weekend. And you have your Furan microwave on this one. Decent size. Great for nuking uh, a lot of stuff before you uh, grill. Like I, we, we kind of nuke our potatoes so that way when I wrap them in foil, put them on the grill, it uh, is already pre-cooked. And uh, you got your solid drawers here. There's lots of drawers on this. And they, they latch pretty good so they're not going to come out while you're driving. And underneath here. It's a great time to talk about the floor. So this floor has, if you see, it's the same floor underneath the cabinet. They build the whole floor first, then they put everything on top of it. And that's how they can warranty these floors for 10 years. Because it's all built first, and then uh, everything's on there. So there's less cuts in the floor, less opportunity for uh, manufacturing defects of it peeling up, cracking, or coming apart. Then you got cabinets above. Great for uh, dishes, and then more space over here. So you have these, uh, the metal blinds are by the sink area. Uh, one, because of fire code, you don't want to have the paper or the cloth stuff around here catch fire. You got a deep stainless steel sink, and then uh, another blind. So you got two windows in the back here, which helps keep it a little bit brighter in your kitchen area. AC is ducted all the way through, and you can direct the AC in the direction you want. LED lights all the way through. This also has a motion light on this one, so when you open the door, the light pops on. So if you leave your lights off while you're uh, heading, uh, heading out for the day and you come back dark, you open the door, this light will pop right on for you, which is really nice. You got your dinette here, which will collapse down to a bed. And then the, they put doors on these so that way you can get underneath instead of having to pull the cushions up. But you can pull the cushion up if you wanted to. They also give you that uh, so you can pull it up and get to it too. You got your TV back there, which is on a motorized. So you can put the TV down and get that out of the way if you're not watching TV while you're camping. You have blackout shades here. They use it up and down, all the way through, and even on the side over here. So if you are watching TV, you want to sit down in the theater seats. Pretty nice. Sit down. Pull the lever here, and up you go. And you can see you go pretty pretty far back. It doesn't hit the wall, so you can get a nice, comfortable fall asleep chair. That's what I call it while I'm out camping. <laughs> More storage up here. LED lights, a little push button here. So you can turn them on and off. USB port on this side with another plug. Area to put some extra cups. And then your uh, AC and heater control on a Dometic switch here. So you can turn this on and off. I'm going to turn this off. So it's off now. That way, I'm not trying to talk over this AC right now. Turn them off for right now. A little hot today, that's why we're cooling this off a little bit. Uh, again, the AC is ducted all the way through, so you're going to have vents all the way to the bathroom. Oh, we talk, forgot about the Furion radio. So indoor, outdoor speakers, so zone one, zone two. And then uh, just turn it off. Says goodbye. <laughs> Um, lots of storage here, so great for hanging clothes uh, over there. And then there's another drawer here too. This is a fairly new floor plan uh, Primetime came up with. I think this was uh, 2020 was the first year for this one. Then you go in the bathroom here, so you got a corner shower. You got a vent above with the fan. So you can get, while you're taking a shower, it'll suck all the hot air, moisture out of here. Um, sink down or the tub here or the shower area here you got a heat duct there which is uh nice because when you have the furnace on it's going to keep everything nice and warm and you still have the ac duct up here and this is also a motion light too so when you come in the bathroom it'll actually turn the light on for you and you have light controls over here too um sink here more under here 
You got your toilet right there too. Medicine cabinet here. Over here is a GFI plug, great for hair dryers and stuff like that. You have your water pump here. And then these are all your level gauges. So you get your battery, um, shows batteries full, fresh water, black tank, two gray tanks. And then these are your tank heaters. So if you look here, one's uh, showing propane and this one's a little lightning bolt. So when you're at a campground, you have a plug, use the lightning bolt for uh, the electric and it'll, uh, red light will come on if there's a fault. Um, so if I left the propane on, it would actually fault out because the propane's not on right now. So, but that's where all in the bathroom area. So easy access to everything. You got a slide door here. Is in, uh, pulls the bathroom off nice easy. So it's not, the door's not in the bedroom, hitting the bed. On the bed here, you have shocks underneath. So the other side of that is your big pass-through area down below. And then uh, two, two cabinets on each side, which have uh, more storage for you. Big night stands on this with plugs on both sides. Does it have USB ports on that side? Or is it just, uh, plugs, over just, there? Plugs. just plugs over there? Okay. So you got lots of plugs. So if you need uh, chargers and stuff like that, you got that all around the uh, bed here. These are individual lights on both sides of the bed. And then you got a nice over, uh, overhead storage to throw some extra blankets and pillows and stuff up there. This one, as we go around, you got the blinds here. So you get some more light here. A lot of people don't realize this is an emergency exit. So what you would do is you'd unlatch this, push it out. One, you can use it as a regular window opening, but you can take the screen right out and then use it as an exit. So it goes right out and you can jump out if you're having an issue where you can't get to the door. And then, uh, so it goes right back in. So that's a demo that I haven't really been doing. Most people don't realize about it. Um, I think we hit everything on this one. Was there any questions? There aren't. I might just do a quick walk through of it. Yeah. yeah. Gonna do a quick uh, walk around. Let everybody see what it really looks like. questions you can just leave them down in the comments below do this way We have a few different floor plans here. We have a, a bunkhouse here. We have a rear bath here too. The rear bath is a neat floor plan. So it has a uh, actual bed slide in the bedroom. Gives you a wardrobe closet up front. So that's a nice floor plan on there too. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free anytime. Comment on there. Uh, share this with your friends. Give us a call here, 716-694-0188. We'd be happy to help you out. Uh, we've been pretty busy. Uh, this is a great time to buy. Um, selections are getting a little low because we're selling a lot of campers right now. So come on in and uh, you know, give us an opportunity to earn your business here at Colton RV. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.